Hey, I'm Yalda. My name is Yalda Safai, and I'm a Sportwood student. I'm going to be your YouTube. Hey guys, so I just got done with class, and I figured since we just got this response and it's really quick to answer, I'll go ahead and do it while I have a chance. So, someone asked a question about uniform distributions. And again, I'm not going to reteach this, I'm just going to work on that one problem. So, the problem they asked was what can you tell me about the probability? that you pick a number at random, and it's somewhere between 5, 50, and 1,000. And I think the setting of the problem is something about a ship or cargo or something like that. But it boils down to what's the probability that this happens, given that the distribution you're dealing with is one uniform. So they got to tell you it's uniform. And the second thing is you know that it's uniform on what range. So in the problem, they told you it's uniform on this range. Okay? So it's uniform from 400 to 800. So if you remember really quickly, uniform just means everybody's got the same shot. So the quick version of this, which is what we point out in the other video, is basically, with all probability, more or less, it's going to be what we want over a total number of possibilities, or at least with discrete guys, right? And in this case, it's going to translate as to the length of what we want over the total length. So this was our shorthand for it. Okay, so if we're doing this, then what's the total length? What are the possibilities? Well, it's a range from 800 to 400. So I think that's just, like literally, if you stuck this on a number line, it's only 400 points, right? Okay, what about what you want? So what you want is something in here. But there's a trick here, because this guy's, this distribution is only defined for 400 up to 800. That means this is the, these are the only numbers that make sense. So if we're talking about 200, it just doesn't happen. If we're talking about 1,000, it doesn't happen. It's like rolling a six-sided die. What can you tell about rolling a zero? It just doesn't happen. How about rolling a 40,000? Doesn't happen, right? Okay, so let's try this out. So if I try this in, this range doesn't make sense. 550 totally makes sense. 1,000 doesn't make sense. But the highest number that does make sense is 800. So the question is really asking you what you want are valid answers somewhere between 550 and 800, right? So what's the difference here? Just 800 minus 550, and now it's just arithmetic. So on bottom we get 400, and now just do the arithmetic and be done. Uh, to clean this up, I personally might do this if I didn't have a calculator, and get something like 125 over 200, and I know that that's equal to dividing top and bottom by 100, because this makes sense. Uh, something like half of this guy, which I think is 62.5, something like that. And then if you finish this out, this guy would be 0.625. Okay. This part doesn't matter. The point is once you get to 25 over So if you 40, have any questions, don't forget. Sportwordprep at gmail.com. Attention, Yalda.